as a superstar. The muddy conditions at the National Stadium played a major role in deciding how fortunes went in yesterday's National Intercol semi-finals. St. Benedict's College, clad in red, because of the clash of colors with Signal Hill, were forced on the defensive for the first 15 minutes by the taller, stronger, and fitter Tobagonians. In fact, Signal Hill scored in the first 15 minutes, and their number 17, Dwight York, who was at the center of most of the attacks, did the job. Dwight York, a new recruit from Roxborough, sending the hundreds of Tobagonians who came to the National Stadium into ecstasy. Dwight York was certainly the pick of the Signal Hill team, tormenting the defense on the left side and getting in the cross. And skipper Renzel Dillon sent Signal Hill ahead for the second and decisive time. A tremendous victory, two goals to one for Signal Hill, and already their fans are dreaming of a second national intercol title. Butcher knocks it back for York. York getting past his man, but once again, Louis Lejar covering for the goalkeeper. And what brilliant work by Lejar. Unfortunately, he didn't get it clear. Batiste and now York. York dribbling his man and trying to get it back sensibly to Dylan. And the shot coming in now. Most of them can throw the ball very fine. But this one falls to Jarvis and doesn't get the clearance. And Lejar once again under pressure. And now York gets the cross. And a bad mistake by the goalkeeper. Well, Dylan it is, I think. And the referee has signaled the end of play. The celebrations have started. Signal will have run onto the pitch. 